Hi everyone, in the world of cloud computing, here are a few tech news highlights from this week. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard, a cloud computing recruitment specialist, placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. I really appreciate the support on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. It means so much to me and the Nelson Hilliard team. And make sure you remember to click the notification bell when you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on the latest shows. And check out our cloud tech blogs on migration, cybersecurity, blockchain and all things cloud tech. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on our latest blogs. Below there is a link. And watch out for the new weekly cloud computing shows with David Linthicum, who is the world's number one cloud industry expert and internationally recognized thought leader. All of the shows are also on Stitcher and iTunes, and I've included a link below. Remember to connect and reach out to me and my team. Below in the description box are the social media links for LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. This week, British Airways suffer a massive payment data breach. Hackers have access to personal and payment details of about 380,000 bookings over a two-week period. The parent company, International Airlines Group, said that it was investigating as a matter of urgency the theft of customer data from BA.com and the airline's mobile app. British Airways Chairman and Chief Executive Alex Cruz apologised to customers for the disruption that this criminal activity has caused. We take the protection of our customer data very seriously. British Airways said it had notified the police and the relevant authorities about this breach. This week sees Australian corporates in government cyber war games named. Some of Australia's largest private sector organisations will face off against Canberra's three biggest agencies in the government's second cyber war games next week. Cyber security experts from key industry sectors including banks, Telco and Energy will take part in this year's event aimed at boosting cyber security skills through a series of real life scenarios. This year's Cyber War Games, codenamed Operation Shellbreaker, will use the same Lego Smart City that was the centre of last year's event to represent the contest in real time. Six teams will take turns attacking and defining the model's critical infrastructure networks, such as power and water supplies. Minister of Human Services and Digital Transformation Michael Keenan said the Cyber War Games were important to help agencies sharpen their skills and to stay ahead of the curve in what is a constantly evolving environment. The event also brings agencies and private sector together to mirror the way we would all need to work during a major cyber incident. This week, the US charges North Korean hacker in WannaCry Sony cyber attacks. The US government has charged and sanctioned a North Korean man in the 2017 global WannaCry ransomware cyber attack and the 2014 cyber assault on Sony. The charges are part of a strategy by the US government to deter future cyber attacks by naming and shaming the alleged perpetrators, also alleged that the North Korean hacker broke into the Central Bank of Bangladesh in 2016, according to a criminal complaint. Park Jin Hyuk worked as part of a team of hackers, also known as the Lazarus Group, to try to breach multiple US businesses, according to the complaint. In 2016 and 2017, Park's targets included defense contractor Lockheed Martin. The complaint said there was no actual evidence that Lockheed Martin was ever breached. This week, Google names its new Australian boss. Google has named its new managing director for Australia and New Zealand, promoting Mel Silver to replace Jason Pellegrino, who has moved on to online real estate agent Domain. Mel Silver has been with Google for 11 years and she will start the new gig down under on October the 1st, shifting from her current role as managing director, go-to-market strategy and operations for Google APAC out of Singapore. Mel said in a statement issued by Google, there is a tremendous digital opportunity for the region with businesses and consumers increasingly making use of tools such as AI and machine learning. During my time in APAC, it's been wonderful to see and share the stories of innovations coming out of Australia and New Zealand, and I can't wait to come back and work with our partners and clients to help them innovate, grow, and succeed. Congratulations, Mel. We wish you all the success down under. 
I'm Brad Nelson and thanks for watching this week's Cloud Tech News. Get in touch if you have a company news story that you'd like us to feature. You can email us at media at nelsonhilliard.com and remember to like, subscribe, comment and share this video with your friends and with your colleagues. And you can also connect with me on LinkedIn, find us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and check out the latest shows with David Linthicum and the podcast link in the description box below. Until next week, be good, be safe and keep our clouds secure.